Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to set up your work environment for Eclipse and for Android. So first things first, you need to uh, do some of these. I'm going to speed these up a little bit so you won't see every single step I'm doing, but basically when I'm installing software, it's next, next, yes, I accept, all that fun stuff. Um, so first thing, you have to install the JDK the Java, Java Development Kit. So if you do a simple Google search for install JDK, Make sure the site that you're in is oracle.com. Oracle is the owner of Eclipse, or um, sorry, of Java. And then, even though the site might look a little bit different by the time you get to it, because uh, they update this a lot, you're just going to look for the Java JDK. So the platform might be different because they update it often. So we'll go to download. And then, when you come on down, you have to make sure you accept the license. Uh, and then you find the appropriate one for your system. Uh, mine is a Windows 64 system, so I will simply click on here and then download and install that. So once that downloads, I'll finish the installation process just by executing the file. Also, what you'll do after you install the JDK, so don't do this step until the JDK has been installed, do a uh, Google search for Android SDK download. Once you do that, take a look. It should be developer.android so forth and so on. If you click on that, it'll bring you to a page that looks something like this. Now you got to be careful here because they want you to download Android Studio, and I'm not professing that right now, so let's continue to scroll down a little bit because all we want is the SDK only. So if we scroll down, you should see somewhere around here that reads just get the command line tools. What we're going to do is we're going to make it easy on ourselves, so we'll get the installer right here. So make sure you're downloading the installer read through those if you wish and then go ahead and install it. Now you will install the installer after you've created or installed the JDK. So once you have these two installed you will then go to Google and you'll type in Eclipse at which point you go to the Eclipse downloads make sure it's eclipse.org and as far as version, it doesn't really matter too much. Uh, again, Eclipse uploads and, and uh, updates new versions. Uh, currently, I use Luna, but they're already on Mars, and who knows what they'll be on uh, next. So what you'll look for is you'll look for something like this, Eclipse IDE for Java developers. Again, make sure you're downloading the appropriate Eclipse for your system, and you download that. And then once you've installed the JDK and you've installed the SDK installer and you've downloaded Eclipse, you will install Eclipse. Once you have all three of those installed, you'll go to Google one more time and type in Android plugin Eclipse MIT. MIT still hosts some directions that are pretty easy to follow. Make sure again you're going to the MIT location and if you look down here it'll walk you through some easy steps to install this. Um, I will show you in an older version of my Eclipse so you can see what that looks like. So it reads here that we'll go to help install we'll click add in the top right corner and then we will put in this link. So if I go into my Eclipse and I go to help and I go to install new software I will paste that URL right here and I will click add. Go ahead and name it something I call mine ADT. And then once you've added that, you can click on here. And then if you have new software to install, which I already have this installed, you'll have the finish button and you can click on finish and it will ask you to upload some things. I will show you what that looks like in just a minute. But before do I do that, I will actually show you how to install Eclipse just to make sure that you have it done correctly. So what I've done already is I've downloaded the Eclipse uh, package and I've placed the zip file inside the C drive. I'm going to right click and extract all. And I'm just going to allow that to extract in the C drive. Now you can extract it anywhere on any drive. I just put it in the C drive because it's easier. Some people like to put it in the program's files, um, whatever your preference is. Um, but you can go ahead and unzip it there. While this is extracting, I'll pause it. It does take a couple minutes to actually extract. 
Okay, once you have that installed, you can take the zip folder here and you can delete that and get rid of it because you have the unzip folder right here. If you open that up and you open up the following folder, you can right click on this exe file and you can send the shortcut to the desktop. Don't just drag this over because that won't work. You actually have to right click and send to uh, desktop. So then you'll have your shortcut. Once you have it, you can open up your Eclipse. Again, I said I'm, I typically run Luna. This right now is the Mars Point 2 version. It shouldn't really matter what version you're running. Um, as long as you have Eclipse and you have the correct one, you'll be just fine. Okay, you'll have to create a workspace. So just for argument's sakes, we'll call this uh, setting up. Again, I'm doing it on the C drive, as you can see. And um, I'm just doing this to set up the Android SDK tools. Okay, now that you've got the Eclipse open, you go ahead and you can kill the welcome screen. You go to help and then install new software. You take that URL that you copied from the MIT website. You click add. Again, it doesn't really matter what you call this. I call it ADT. That way I know exactly what it is, which is Android Development Toolkits. And then click developer options. Click next. And then allow that to install. And this will take a couple minutes also, so I'll pause the so you'll click next you can read the terms if you'd like to then click finish it will install these uh, software pieces into your eclipse the plugin you will get this warning within your installation um, go ahead and click ok for it and then It'll ask you uh, if you want them to take effect to restart, so go ahead and restart your Eclipse. Once your workspace opens, you may get an error like this. We'll just OK through that for right now. Click on Welcome. And then you should notice these two new buttons here, uh, your SDK Manager and then your AVD Manager. So we'll click on your SDK Manager to open that up. We'll check this for any updates that might need to be taken. So they should already be automatically picked. Uh, we'll install those six packages. But before we do, well, at least it's six for mine. But before we do, I just want to make sure that you have the Google USB driver. It should already be installed, but if it's not, make sure you put a check next to that box. Now, you don't need to have everything in here installed uh, necessarily. Uh, so we're not going to click on any extra boxes in this particular case. Uh, we'll allow Eclipse to sort of auto-manage those. We'll accept the license, we'll install, and again, this may take uh, quite some time as well. Uh, you'll have to, of course, go through and try to install these. So it looks like I had a couple of errors it wasn't downloading, so what I'm going to do in order to fix that is I'm going to right-click on my Eclipse and I'm going to run it as an administrator. Uh, which you may or may not have to do for your setup. If it's not allowing the SDK to update, then that's exactly what you'll have to do. So you saw I added a one to that uh, name because I'm creating a whole new workspace um, as an administrator. So once I have that set up, hopefully now I'll be able to install this. We'll take a look. It should automatically find the same packages to install, which is six. And we'll go ahead and we'll accept the license. We'll install it. It looks like running as administrator is working because now it's downloading. This will take some time, especially if you have more install packages than this. So just be patient. I'll pause the video while it's uploading. Eventually, you'll get a query or a request to restart your Eclipse. So you go ahead and click OK for that. Now when you start, you should have your Eclipse ready to rock and roll. From time to time, you might want to go ahead and check the SDK manager to see if there's anything to update. Um, but for the most part, it'll uh, do it automatically. And you don't necessarily have to update and be on top of it immediately. Uh, sometimes it's wiser just to wait. So with that being said, good luck in your programming.